So this was a sunrise. Uh, we get, space station sees about 16 sunrises per day as it goes around um, uh, around the Earth every 90 minutes. So it, when we capture a beautiful sunrise and sunset, it's just great to see them. Usually, like here, you can even see some of the clouds in the low horizon areas. And so this was uh, in the Midwest, taken in February. It started out around St. Louis area. You can see the Great Lakes all covered in snow, and the Great Lakes uh, iced over, going over uh, my hometown of Toledo, Ohio. You're starting to see uh, the East Coast coming up on the right side and the St. Lawrence River beneath, uh, right in the middle. These, you can see, clearly see the cities. There's Toronto going through uh, right off Lake Ontario and Montreal, and the moon is rising just over, just to the oh, left of center. Spectacular. And this is Florida, where we, of course, we launched from, uh, taken last month, passing over the Bahamas, and you see the beautiful blue waters. Uh, it goes on a little bit further. You see Cuba to the left. One of the things I noticed is that when I started seeing the video is that, like, here, this is the northern Europe, uh, with north is to the left. There's the Baltic on the left, and you're going right over Germany and Poland on the bottom. This is near sunset local time, so it's not as clear, mm -hmm. but, it's, but it's another part of the world. Uh, this is the SpaceX-5 uh, release, so the robotic arm is taking SpaceX-5 back in February of this year and moving it around to get it away from space station so they can release it and it could return to Earth. So we are lucky that uh, where we're positioned, we actually get to see a lot of the robotic arm operations oh, wow. as well as the Earth going by. And this was uh, Super, Super Typhoon Mayaska, I think is how it's pronounced. It was taken in the Pacific, uh, Western Pacific. This is on March 31st of this year. At the time this was taken, the winds were about 140 miles per hour. And as it goes away, one of the things I was saying a minute ago, one of the things that I learned was that it's, we're used to seeing maps where you always wear no, know where north is. It's always up. Mm -hmm. That's not always the case here. Yeah. You look out the window and sometimes north is left, sometimes it's right, sometimes you just... It's, it makes it a little more interesting to try to figure out what you're seeing sometimes.